Hey, Gary Warren here. Welcome on back to the Cade in what may well be our final episode of this playthrough of the original Diablo from 1998 for the PlayStation 1 as ported by Blizzard and EA. So one of the things I wanted to do in this episode before we get started is I wanted to show you how you can essentially set up New Game Plus. Uh, because you can very well take your character as it is currently constituted and use it in subsequent playthroughs. And what you need to do is, so what I've done is I've taken all my best weaponry that I is not unique. Unique items will not carry over to your next playthrough because they will basically be reset back into the labyrinth. But anything that is blue, so an enchanted weapon or an enchanted ring, is fair game. So all this stuff I'm going to put in here along with all this money that I'm going to utilize uh, just to be able to have a, a again, a, a sharehold basically uh, for stuff that I can buy once I get started the next time I want to play through this game. And then what you do is you can come down here to save load, save character, not save game. If you save the character, then when you start the game up, you will load whatever that is on this file, including everything that's in its inventory. Now, the question you may ask is, well, that's great and all, Ronan, but what the heck did you do with all those potions and everything you just bought? Well, I will show you as soon as I offload all this stuff that I don't need to keep my inventory now. So all this stuff I'll put over here. Then I'll just start offloading all of my fundage. The understanding you can only do it in grids of nine. So if it, the reason why I will block it. Well, that's a unique item, but it's not a huge deal that it's in there. So. So now, all that is emptied out. But I have that character stored, and now I can just come over here. Pick up all the potions that I put down to make room for all that stuff. I can't cast that here. And I'm all set. So with all that out of the way, and again, we are fully stocked to the brim with potions. So let us go and take down a Lord of Terror, shall we? Do I think this is going to take the full 30 minutes? Maybe. Maybe not. So I think we have to go back to the portal up at the beginning where we came in and there should now be the door that will take us to Diablo. Of course, all of this has been cleared out. I still don't care about that spike club. It's not going to help me. Yep, there it is. So, portal back to level 15. And if I remember it right, there should be a gold portal door that opens up that will take us to Diablo. Portal to the Unholy Altar, down to Diablo. So it's the pentagram. Well, we didn't get dressed up for nothing. Honey, I'm home. So Diablo is in here somewhere. But what we really need to do... One, we need to get away from all these wizards. Holy cow. Good God. Is 
Take the skeleton men out. We're gonna have to start picking off advocates here. Fortunately, these skeletons aren't super strong, but it's the combination of them with the mages, just like it was on level 15 with the succubi, that is what ultimately makes them so devastating. Nova, I don't care about. Okay, that advocate's down. If you can get the advocates up against the wall, the options of where they can teleport to diminish considerably. Hell whores, while it is going to be tedious to deal with them, you got to get rid of them too. You just simply cannot have anything else but Diablo to really have to deal with at the end of this level. Now, it is very possible we may just stumble across him by accident, and if we do, then we're in a pickle because he will chase us relentlessly. How am I doing on potions? Not great. Fortunately, I have town portal scrolls still. Get rid of him. him my god ah okay so the skull levers if I pull those they're gonna lower walls that will eventually free Diablo so those are the last thing I want to do with all these other enemies around I want to clear them out first And really, I have to clear them out first.
Come back here. There. Annoying as you wouldn't believe. come down here and it's going to be more of the same stuff. There'll be advocates and hell horrors. Yeah, whore. Filthy whore. So it is possible this one actually may run, we may run one more episode. And that these hell whores can respawn. Full plate mail, okay. Well, not enough mana. No time like the present to head back to town and restock. And that's the thing when you get to this part of this game is that you just you got to be patient. Yeah, it's tedious, but if you've gotten this far, it will help you on the back end of not just steamrolling your way in here and dealing with Diablo and all of his minions that are down Hello, here. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ivory full play of the stars. Man, if that was anything else... Although, I have the same armor rating, plus more armor... Well, what can I do for you? And I'll get 30 grand for it, which will be more than sufficient to fix all of my stuff. And restock up on potions. What ails you, my friend? You, my friend. And I'm going to go for Gusto and fill it until I don't have any more spaces, which is right there.
and I've got money coming out of my ears, but more importantly, we have a lot more potions. Or sixteen and a half minutes. Behind this wall, so the mages can't hit us. We'll make the skeletons come get us over here. Picking up no end of money. So that's not the issue. Take this skeleton out. Okay. So bump this stuff up. Being able to do a little bit more damage. Is gonna help a little as well. Come on, skeleton. That's the other thing. Don't go chasing them. You'll be able to get around to them eventually anyway. But if you chase them, they're going to lead you in a position where you risk getting overrun by the skeletons. And that's... You're as good as dead at that point anyway. So it is very much a case of pick your battles. Wilted armor, staff of healing. Yeah, none of this stuff is going to help me. stupid enough to stand toe to toe with you then that gives you the advantage because the advocates being mages have very little resistance to your weaponry you just got to be able to get them to hold still long enough for them to think they can take you on in a stand up fight And 
and as you can see at that point they all pretty much drop all right so let's see what's over this way Magical quilted armor, which is of uh, no help to me at all. I think that was the fifth one. All right. Now, considering where that pentagram that you see on the other side of that wall is, my guess is Diablo is right here. As soon as I pull that skull lever, he is going to pop out. But your patience will be rewarded if you can get through all this stuff. It's like now we have one advocate left. He's gone. We got a couple of skeletons left. I thought I saw one over here. Yep, he's sitting in the corner. Twenty four minutes. So there's definitely something in here. Well, this is where the skull lever is. I'm not going to pull it yet. And there is definitely something over here. So. Since we got about five minutes left. I'm going to venture back to town one more time. We're going to make one more stock up on potions. Repair our gear. Then we will hopefully face Diablo in the next episode, which Hello, should, again, friend. be the last one. Stay a while. We don't have anything here we got to get identified. Oh, what can I do for you? I am tempted, real quick, to change back over my weapon to something like Stone Cleaver. 
Because let's think about this for a minute. And so I was down to... I'll drop that because I don't need to keep it with me. So right now I'm doing 31 to 39 damage. This puts me to 35 to 53 damage. And Stone Cleaver, as always, was just Whoa, what can I do for you? giving me so much more ability to just rip through stuff. And down here, where I don't have the Succubi to deal with, you, where I'm not having to run and chase them, and I can stand up and fight the Advocates and the Skeletons, this might actually be the smarter play. Especially because when I pull that lever and when I get to Diablo, I'm going to need all the help on the weapons front that I can get. And I actually don't have enough gold for once to stock up on any more potions so I think what we will do is we're at 28 minutes we're gonna call it good here and then in the next and I keep saying this and I apologize for it but I'm pretty sure we're at the end now uh, we're gonna go back into the dungeon we're gonna pull that skull lever and then whatever comes at us including Diablo we're gonna put it down and hopefully that will be the end of our playthrough. So, uh, as always, my name is Ronan. It's been great to spend this time with you. Be safe, be well, happy gaming, and we will talk to you again in the next one. Bye.